how to uh, do a transaction applying Bitcoin right through CEXIO. Uh, very good system for many places around the world. So I'm assuming that the registration process will be pretty self-explanatory, so you can do that part. And, but let's go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, I'll be right back. Okay, before you do anything, once you're in here, is you are first going to go to your profile and you're going to go to your profile and your verification. You got to get those two things done. So let's take a look at the quick pro at the profile real quick. Okay, profile information, self-explanatory. I don't need to read it to you, uh, but you need to make sure you put that information. Now, you want to make sure that it, it, it's going to be information that's going to be able to be verified with your form of identification that you'll provide later. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up and then I'll come right back. Okay, after you updated your information, you will get an email making sure that you can, that, that information is actually yours, otherwise it won't confirm. And then once you've clicked on that, you'll see that your profile has been updated. I'm not gonna get much into the other tabs, but you can, you should go through them because it's security, API, and all that kind of thing. Uh, how secure you want your account to be, go through those. Those are pretty self-explanatory. But for the brevity of this video, I'm just gonna move on to the verification part. Okay, the verification process, they walk you step by step. Just click here and then from there, you'll be able to see what you need to be able to provide there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the information, just showing you here. That's one of the steps. I gotta provide the information that they asked me for here and then move on. This next screen here shows you how to then obviously you your personal information and then your address and photo documents. So let me go ahead and fill that out. I'll be back. Okay, here you gotta provide your address which is going to be confirmed by the documents you provide and then the final step here you got to provide uh, either if you chose driver license or whatever that's what you got to do then the selfie holding your driver license in this particular case and proof of residency so let me do that and i'll be back once you've completed the steps you're likely to get a window similar to this where it says that your application is being checked and the verification part is being done and then from there once you get approved, we can move on to the next step. So I'm going to pause the video here and then come back to it once we've been. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's Leo here. Uh, from this point forth, we're going to show you how to purchase Bitcoin through CEXAL. I'm assuming that you already have an account. You might assume that you already verified your account. And we're going to go from the point of how do we purchase. Now, there are two different ways to be able to purchase directly from here. Okay. One is going to be you go to the buy sell area and then you can buy whatever amounts are there or you can set an amount that you'd like to put whether it's uh, let's say 150 dollars and there you go and there's a rate that's what you're going to get i'm sorry for in terms of bitcoin or if you want to buy a certain amount of bitcoin it will tell you how much it is in dollars okay, and you click buy now personally uh my the feedback that i've gotten in what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it differently. I don't want to buy this from this format because the rates are a little bit higher. So what I want to do is I want to get a better rate. So in essence, what I'm going to do is we're going to go to trade. Now trade is basically you're saying I want to trade my currency, US dollars, for Bitcoin. And you can tell, you know, even if you don't know how to do trading and all that stuff, I'm not much into trading myself right now. but. What I can see is that there are transactions that are happening and this is the price that people are selling them for. So this is, they're saying this 1584. Now when I look at this, this is $1,584.80 basically for one Bitcoin. You can buy the amount that you want and it tells you US dollars. And that is the transactions of what they're happening as we speak. Now let's take a look and see how those compare. Now there, you know there are gonna be fees for transacting period. But let's take a look at how these compare to what actually is going on currently. So just for argument's sake, let's go and see uh, how much Bitcoin price is at this moment. So we refresh the screen, it's at 1621. And here at Coinbase, it is at 1630. And at CEXIO, 1583. So, <laughs> So this is a pretty good deal. So if I can get them for this, that's pretty darn good. Now, uh, before I can buy anything, 
And before I can even make this option available for myself, I need to have two things. Number one, that my account was verified. And number two, I need to deposit some money into here. So I'm going to go into deposit. And from here, I'm going to add one, some method of being able to put funds into here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on um, Visa MasterCard. So I'm going to do it in that format. And then from here, I'm going to choose how much I want to buy. But before I do, of course, I have to add the card. So let's do that first. Let's add a new card. You're going to put in the information that they ask you for, the card number, the card holder's name, expiration date, all that stuff in order for you to be able to purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so once you've completed those steps and a few others that will ask you to just make sure that it's you, verification of uh, your card and so forth, and then you will see that your card is being processed. From there, you can click on the Go to Finance page and let's see where it takes us. Okay, it brings you here, which means that you are ready to deposit some money into your account. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and I want US dollars that I'm going to deposit. And from here, you can see that I have my card that it's been verified. And I'm going to purchase, let's say I do $40. Now, there is a fee, there's a commission fee that they have, so I'm going to pay a little bit over $40, which I'm fine with, and then we can go ahead and process this payment. So I select the card, it's going to ask me to verify my code to make sure that it is me, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit deposit. Okay, once the deposit has been requested, and then submit it and then you know so you just have to wait for them to finish that processing and then you can have your funds so i'm just going to go ahead and hit close and it's already gone through look at that now just uh, want to make sure that i also give you guys a heads up the first time i tried to process the 40 dollars and you didn't see this in the video it got rejected because my bank said hey is this legit? Is this something you really want to do? So it's extra security, which is great. And I went ahead and said it was okay. And then the second time it went through and it was deposited. And actually just took up not even a minute, those funds are there. So now let's go ahead and use those funds to purchase some Bitcoin. Turn over to trade. Okay, and then here, Let's see what we're selling for. Okay, now it's about a little higher than it was before, but let's still compare it to the Bitcoin price right at this moment. So again, this may fluctuate back and forth. 16, 19, it's just for example purposes. So uh, I think the rates are pretty good here. So let's go ahead and click there. And I want it to be as low as possible. So that's the lowest one I see. You know, that one right there. Let's try that. And let's put in an amount that's going to be close to $40 here. And I've got to take into account fees. So let's figure that out. Let's see. Let's put in point zero point zero three. You may have to play with this a little bit. Okay, there's not enough funds for that. Because it's too much. So two, five, so as you can tell, there we go. And then there's a fee, eight cents. And I think I'm good with that. So actually, let's try that fee right there. It's might even better. Let's put it by one. Okay, there we go. So we'll place the order for that. Let's go to see if we can do that. Nope, let's put it one. I believe if I do that, it might even be better. I might be able to get it. So two, nope, still not enough. So you may have to play with it a little bit, okay? But let's go with that then. Let's place the order. I'm about to buy that amount at that rate. And then there's the fee that I've been charged, eight cents, that's pretty reasonable. And it says that I bought 
BTC already at that rate and with a fee of eight cents. So let's go back and see if that is the case. Look at that. My Bitcoin is right there. I already have it done. <laughs> so that was pretty immediate and a pretty good rate. So uh, this is why I think I'm going to be moving to purchasing some more through here because it's uh, definitely very reasonable. So uh, let's go now to withdraw it. If I want to withdraw it to a particular wallet because I want to put it somewhere else, then all I've got to do is come over here. And since we're dealing with Bitcoin, we're going to go over click here where it says BTC. And here's where you put in the recipient's address where you're going to send it to. So let me go ahead and get that. Okay, put in the address and make sure that that is correct because if you don't put in the correct address, then you're going to have a bit of a problem there. Okay, because it may not, you may not be able to get your funds back. Next, we'll move into the amount, which in this case, I know that I have 0 0.0251. That's what I have. And uh, let's see, from there, it's going to remove the fee, obviously. So that, take, that is taken into account. But even with that, it's definitely very reasonable. And then I go ahead and double check everything, make sure that the fee that's being reduced is fine, and that's what I'm going to get. And then I click withdraw. Now, since I've added extra security, the Google Author Indicator, then I need to put in a code. Uh, if I suggest you do the same thing, but that's up to you. And then the final step will be just to confirm it via my email. So as you can see, there's a lot of confirmation steps because I want to make sure that everything is being done legitimately. So I'm going to go ahead and check my email and come back. Okay, I've gone ahead and done my email. I click on the link that they provided. And then as you can see, the transaction is being processed. So now I just got to wait for that to finish up. And I got dropped off into this screen. So whether you end up on the same screen or not, basically it's on the transactions that are going on. And as you can tell there is there's a withdrawal happening and the transaction is being processed. So obviously it needs to go through verifications. And once that's done, then that should hit the wallet and that's good to go. So I certainly hope that you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you liked it, please go ahead and click like, comment, share, or subscribe to the channel. I'll be happy to share some more of this information with you. And of course, you'll see a button or a link below this video where you can click on it and it'll take you over to CEXIO and you can get started. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.